Hey guys, this is Darren with East Woodland Survival. Today we're going to talk about natural dyes and uh, the dyeing process and how to do this out in the woods, uh, kind of like for a self-reliance situation. Um, I started out today, I'm going to talk about blackberry dyes. Uh, I'm actually doing this for a class and I had to dye three different uh, types of uh, material, three different colors. So uh, today, if you look right here, we've got uh, three different ones. We have a black walnut, black uh, blackberries, and this is a pokeberry and dogwood uh, bark blend. So if you'll stay with me a little bit, and I'll show you the different dyes and uh, some of the different processes I've been using. Okay, this is uh, the blackberry. You can see it's quite red, and I uh, I did this process the same way that you would make uh, jelly. I just uh, juiced it out, heated the berries, juiced them out through a juicer, and uh, strained it through a uh, coffee filter. And uh, that's what I ended up with there. You can see uh, from the swatch, it's quite a dramatic difference between uh, the way the material will turn out and what it actually starts out with the dye. This is the dogwood pokeberry blend. You can see it's really purple. And this is some of the material that's kind of in the process, uh, letting it die a little bit. It's actually going to come out kind of a gray, I think, instead of a purple. And also, I have some uh, black walnut. I'm going to let that one stew for a couple of days and get really dark. There's a ton of different things you can make dye out of, guys. Uh, you can Google that. A uh, lot of different ways to make dyes, a lot of different things. But uh, today we're going to focus kind of on uh, making a blackberry dye, since I've been talking about using blackberries a lot lately. And I uh, thought it would be kind of interesting to do. So the first thing we need to do is uh, we're actually going to make... Uh, a mordant or a fixative and there's a general rule for this if it's going to be a berry something some kind of a berry off of a tree you want to use a salt water bath now what I did is this is just some salt water and I've got my material steeping in it a lot of places recommend doing it uh, a warm water bath I'm just doing it a lukewarm water bath and uh, seems to work out fairly well. Uh, the solution's made uh, four to one, four parts water to one part salt. Okay, if you're using something that's a uh, like the walnut or the uh, the uh, dogwood, something along that line, you want to use a vinegar bath. And I used a vinegar bath for this. I used the same measurement four parts water, one part vinegar. I'll let this soak for about an hour and you can see the results here on those two swatches and it starts out that color. This is just uh, cotton muslin. It's a fairly heavy weight. Okay, so let's get started, and uh, I'm going to wring this out. Then I'm just going to kind of plop it in my bowl. I'm going to be using a stick. Get it saturated well. And I'm going to let it set for uh, several hours out here today. And uh, I won't bore you to death with watching that all day. So we'll just come back in a little bit. And we'll see what kind of color we got out of it. So stay tuned, guys. Okay, guys, several hours have passed now. Uh, now I've let this set and soak. Uh, 
in the blackberry. So let's uh, give it a try here. See what we've got so far. Ah, may as well just bite the bullet and get it over with, huh? Alright, we're going to rinse this off and we'll see what kind of color we get out of it. Got some clean water here. It's just going to kind of let this drip because I want to use some more of this dye later. And we're just going to give it a quick, quick dunk. We'll spread it out over here in the grass. And we'll let this dry out and uh, see what kind of color we end up with. Right now it's kind of a, <laughs> uh, kind of a pinkish, purplish, reddish color. So uh, we'll see what it looks like when it dries up there. So uh, stay tuned, we'll get back as soon as it dries up. While we're letting the other stuff dry, I thought we'd check on uh, some of this. I'm actually going to let this go probably overnight and see if it can get a little darker. Uh, that's what I got so far. The color of this is kind of a purplish, grayish, blue kind of color. And with our walnut, it's turning out to be a pretty decent color. Uh, not bad. I think I'm going to let it set for a little while also though. Alright guys, here's my final product. See, it kind of turned out a kind of a shade of pink. Uh, not exactly what I was hoping for. I was actually hoping for more of a red uh, like this, which was what the blackberry uh, dye was uh, originally. That's what it looks like. I'm sure if I left it set overnight, that it would probably uh, absorb a lot more dye and uh, get a lot brighter, a lot redder, but. I'm pleased with what I got. I mean, it'd make something good for accents or something. I mean, I'm not going to wear it around the woods or anything, but hey, kind of a neat little uh, science experiment here in dye making. Well, guys, I hope you enjoy watching this, and uh, I really appreciate uh, you viewing. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and this is Darren with East Woodland Survival, and I hope to see you in the woods.